Let's get deep with that. You walking around here with a damn fez talking about Moorish nationality. Are we going there tonight? Yes, we are. Are we going to go there tonight? Are we going to go there tonight? We're going to go there. Do, do, do we need to go there? Do we have any Moorish science temple dudes in here? You dig? Or do we have some uh, some more signs temple dudes in here? Shout out to Elevation Allah. Because, see, we got goofy Negroes like Taharka Bay. Yes, we're going to touch on Taharka Bay. Let, let's, let's tie Taharka Bay's ass in this. A.K.A. Toronto... Antonio Johnson. That's Taharka Bay's real name. Now, Taharka Bay has been trying to campaign for attention, and I did some lightweight smacking him around, and I pretty much wiped him out. I smacked Taharka Bay around lightweight, and the little lightweight smacks wiped him out. He's a rap, and he knows it. So, Taharka Bay has been trying to take little shots, trying to get clout from me because he's a nobody. I know you're listening to Harka Bay. Yeah, plebiscite babbling to Harka Bay. Yes, this nigga's name is Toronto Antonio Johnson. And I lightweight smacked him and got him out the game. He's a rap. What really got Toronto to Harka Bay was when I put the Frankenstein mask on. When I put the Frankenstein mask on, that really got under his skin. You dig? When I that really got him. All right. When when I when, when I start doing the videos about him looking like a little Frankenstein, you dig? That was kind of getting to him. That was getting to him. That was getting to him. It was getting to him. All right. It was getting to him. But when I did that, when I had the mask, when I put the mask and the fez on, because this is what this nigga looks like. Oh, I think that that burned his soul. That burned his soul. So he jumped all out the window. I heard little bits and pieces. Oh, this nigga just went up. Oh, he got real pissed. So I think that 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 wiped him out a little bit. So he was, oh my God, I heard little clips of this nigga just talking about my family, posting pictures of my babies. No, oh, that's, that's a nigga who lost. Oh, this nigga was, oh, I heard, I didn't, I don't listen to Harker. I don't listen to the plebiscite babble. I don't listen to a nigga plebiscite babbling. I don't listen to that. But you putting, you know, you putting pictures of my babies and just, you know, that's whole shit. I don't respect that. I don't respect that. So we're going to talk about Taharka Bay tonight. He's a, somebody, most of you are like, I have no idea who Taharka Bay is. He's a nobody. He's a weird, funny looking Negro who I basically destroyed his little bullshit career without even trying. I barely did it. And you can tell you destroyed somebody's shit when they, their comeback is a bunch of lies and babble. Some of his comebacks was on some... Well, Tariq has a white lawyer. You know how I do. Yeah. Well, Tariq's sister's cousin's brother, uncle, brother-in-law is Latino. You know how I do. If that's your comeback, that means you lost. If the worst thing you could say about me is your cousin's uncle, auntie, mama, grandma, brother-in-law is whatever... You don't have anything, and you're saying to the world, Tariq Nasheed is so goddamn thorough, I have nothing. I have to reach and cobble together something about this dude. That's what being thorough is about, nigga. That's how thorough I am in the game. I am a thorough brother. I do not plebiscite babble. I am an alpha male. I say what I mean, mean what I say, and I handle my business. And I'm a trustworthy person. My rep is impeccable. So cobbling together some jive ass 
talking point basically translates to I lost. And I can I I I take your concession. I I accept it. I accept your loss. And I'm not going to really address the loser again. I don't have to because trolling and babbling is just what losers do. That's their way of kind of coping with losing. Okay? But Taharka Bay, you're talking about my, my children. I don't, I, I, don't, I don't really know all you're talking about, but I, I know it was pretty reckless. You're talking about the family. Now, what I, I'm not going to bring your family in it because Taharka, I've seen, I didn't see images of your family. I'm not going to bring your family into it, but I see where you get that big ass head from. That big head of yours comes from your bloodline. It, I don't. Your whole family got these big fucking heads. I was going to show some pictures. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to show pictures of the dudes. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to be that petty. I'm not going to bring the family into it because this nigga is dusty enough. This, a, this is a dusty enough nigga right here. But this, this is Taharka Bay right here. This is Taharka. Look at him. Look at this nigga. Taharka, you are a born loser. Look at you. This is why you're so jealous of me, Taharka. All of this babbling you've been doing about me for the last few months, just making videos babbling about me, that's jealousy. Look at how I'm, I'm a very successful black man, a very independent black man, very successful black man, very nice looking black man, very tall black man. The women love me. The brothers respect me. Um, I get things done. Um, people value my words. People look to me for advice. People look to me to, to talk to me, to get some game. You understand? And this is you. That's you right there. Big ass head, looking weird, just a big, weird, goofy looking Negro. Nobody's checking for you. Nobody gives a shit about what you have to say. Yeah, that's where the problem is. I mean, you, dude, you look like an Easter Island statue. And this is why you're jealous and upset and mad at me. Don't be mad at me. Yeah, I, yeah, I saw his, I'm not going to put his mama. I have a picture of his mama, Miss Sylvia. Shout out to Miss Sylvia. I'm not going to bring your mama into that, man. I, I love mothers. But yeah, I see where you got your head from, nigga. I see where you got your head from, nigga. But to Harka, this nigga, that whole Moorish science temple thing, I want y'all to understand this about people like Taharka and a lot of these Moorish science temple dudes, what that get down is. Taharka is, like I said, one of these born losers. This nigga's name is Toronto Antonio Johnson and other people, they've exposed this goofball before. This is nothing new. So it's I don't even have to go too deep with it. But this is a lifelong petty criminal. This nigga's been a petty criminal for damn near most of his damn life. Oh, goodness. Goodness. So where do we start? It's, let's look at this nigga's paperwork. All right, well, let's go to his paperwork. This nigga got cases going all the way back to 91. Here we go. I, I blocked out the address. Come on, um, Taharka. Let's do it. You already know where I'm going with it. So let's go to some of your dusty ass Robin stores. Here they go. Back in the 90s. Just dusty nigga shit. All right. Just Robin stores back in the 90s. Went to jail for Robin stores. What dusty niggas do. Okay. So this is what happens. When dusty niggas like that with no game goes out here doing crackhead crimes, you go to jail, you go to prison. And when you are, and he's a kind of a short, little stubby nigga with a huge head. So a little short, stubby, goofy nigga like this goes to jail. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You need protection. So out here in L.A. and in, in the West Coast, you know, you either get with the BGF, you get with the Crips, the Bloods, or you get with the, 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 the Muslims. So out there on the East Coast, Baltimore... You a funny looking, stubby, 
goofy looking dude with a huge head. So you're going to be lunch in jail. You're going to be lunch. So you're not going to join no gang because you ain't got the heart for that. You're not, you can't really join the nation of Islam because there's too much discipline with the nation of Islam. The nation of Islam in prisons, you know, they make them work out. You got to, you got to be almost militaristic to a certain degree, you know. Sometimes the, the, the FOIs, the, well, not the FOI, but the NOI brothers who are in jail, you know, they, they kind of run a tight ship. You got to be on top of your game. You got to exercise. You got to be on top of your shit. And so the other option is for these dudes, well, there's two other options. Either they become Hebrew Israelites or they become more science temple dudes as a way to protect themselves. So you can, when, when some gang shit go down, you can be in the corner praying, hey, my brother, I'm going to pray for you. My brother, you know how I do you. I pray for you. We're going to pray to Allah, brother. You know what I do you. There's a lot of bitch niggas get involved. Not all of them are bitch made, but it's a bunch of bitch niggas. That's why when you see a lot of the Morris Science Temple dudes, they all fat and out of shape and pudgy and shit. Because ain't no real discipline in jail. And I'm not denigrating all of the Morris Science Temple guys. I'm not because you got some thorough brothers. You do. You do have some thorough cats in Morris Science Temple. You do. But Taharka Bay ain't one of them. This nigga is not one of them. This nigga's real bitch made. Looks like a fucking snapping turtle. Walking around here. You know how I do you. I know you're listening to Harker. This is an intervention to Harker. This is an intervention. But to Harker isn't one of these goofy niggas. He's been goofy all of his life. He's been a goofy fuck nigga all of his life. This is him. Look at look at this goofball. Swagless. Look at him. Look at this goofy nigga. Of course you're going to be jealous of a nigga like me. Look how goofy you look. You look like a damn Dominican plumber. Look how goofy you look. So this Negro, again, a lot of times when these dudes like like um, Toronto Antonio, and where are you from with a name like that? Um, Toronto Antonio. Doesn't sound too FBA. Where are you from, nigga? Where are your parents from? Where are your people from, nigga? And your head is... I've, I've been a... I've been around for many years. I've been all over the country. I've seen foundational black Americans. I have never seen a foundational black American look like this nigga. I have never seen nobody who looks like this, guys. I've never seen a human being who looks like this. This nigga looks like a hammerhead shark. I've never seen anybody who looked like this weird nigga. Who's FBA? Where's this dude from? Yeah. So he's always been a swagless nigga. Toronto, this is an intervention, Toronto. Where are you from, nigga? But this nigga, when people sit up here trying to project scams, trying to cobble together a false narrative to project scams onto people, it's usually the scammers doing that. So again, this Negro tried to have something. He put up a GoFundMe a while back. This is a GoFundMe, look at this fool. He tried to raise money for the Moorish Village, where he was going to raise money on GoFundMe for Moorish Village, and that failed. So this is a failed tether plebiscite-ass nigga who just does a bunch of failed projects. He has no wins under his belt, a lifelong failure. He looks weird as hell. Just a bit goofy nigga. Bit fish face fucker. Looking like Finding Damn Nemo. <laughs> Where is this nigga from looking like this? This is a born loser. A failure all of his life. So of course you're going to be jealous of me. And I'm not going to keep addressing you because I'm just taking a victory lap here. Because I've already crushed you. Because all you can do is come back with lies and nobody's listening to it. You're upset because Taharka, nobody listens to you. This is why I've become your daddy and you've become my bitch. Your name should be Taharka Bitch because you have to use my name in order to get views because you ain't interesting nor are you thorough enough to draw an audience. You're just an old, dusty, plebiscite babbling nigga who's doing the same babbling you did in jail. 
and people see it and ain't nobody buying it. Nobody's buying that shit, brother. The reason why you see so many people rocking with me because I keep it 100. I'm an interesting person and I follow through with what I, what I say. I follow through with it. You dig? I didn't spend my entire life doing petty crackhead crimes. You dig? That says a lot about your character. Robbing stores and shit. What kind of bullshit is that, nigga? With that big ass head like you ain't gonna get caught. Your head is all in the surveillance video. <laughs> Give me the money. You know what I do. Give me the money. <laughs> Gives me the money. Head big as hell. Like the surveillance camera ain't gonna get your funny looking ass. Don't nobody else look like you, nigga. Even with the ski mask, the size of your head, people know the shape. Like they can't see the shape of your damn head. Like you, oh, you don't have on a ski mask with that big ass head. Hey, how you think you weren't gonna get caught robbing the liquor store, bitch ass nigga? You fucking clown. Who, who supports Taharka Bay? Y'all need to get the fuck out of here. You support this goofy nigga? <laughs> nigga, they use head prints to get you. <laughs> nigga, everybody pointed your ass out. <laughs> With the ski mask, everybody pointed you out. They knew who it was. <laughs> nigga... Yeah, you got to sit here and whine about me. You my bitch. And I'm your daddy, nigga. You got to eat off me. You got to get your little YouTube dollars by mentioning daddy, fuck boy. But here's the thing about Taharka, bitch. Boy, your rap sheet. Yeah. Boy, Taharka, your damn rap sheet, brother. Your rap sheet, your rap. Because I, I don't have to talk about your cousin, sister, uncle, mama, brother-in-law. That, that's That means you have nothing. I, I got something, nigga. I'm talking about you. Talking about your rap sheet, bitch ass. Nigga, let's look at Taharka's rap sheet. Antonio. Toronto Antonio. Let's look at his rap sheet. Let's look at what's going on with this nigga. Domestic violence. This dude has a number of domestic violence cases. And look on the bottom. Child abuse. The nigga has a number of domestic violence cases and child abuse cases. Damn, Toronto. Do y'all see that? The child abuse in this? Let's look at some more stuff here. A couple of domestic violence, child abuse, domestic violence. Bitch nigga. That I can't respect. You're beating on women and you're beating on kids, nigga. That, that's what you're doing? Child abuse? Domestic violence, you bitch ass nigga? See, it's always these little weird ass touche turtle looking niggas who can't really step to a man with the bullshit because you know a man will knock a plug out your big ass head. So you, them little fuck niggas got to run up on women and kids. You dig? Who supports him? Get on in here. Where are the Taharka Bay supporters for this bitch ass nigga? Beating on women and kids? Is that your get down nigga? I ain't talking about your mama, sister, brother, uncle, cousin, in law. I'm talking about you, fuck boy. Beating on women and kids? Huh? You bitch ass nigga? Now let's take it deeper. Let's go even deeper with it. Where are the Taharka supporters in here? Here's another document. I blocked the address. Come on. Here's another document about Toronto, Antonio Johnson, AKA Taharka Bay talking about his record. And this is a very interesting thing on the bottom. Look right here, ladies and gentlemen. Right here on the bottom, registered lifetime sex offender, yes. So your boy is a registered sex offender. So nigga, not only are you engaging in domestic violence, child abuse, 
damn nigga, you a perv too? Damn Taharka Bay. Where are the Taharka Bay supporters? Get your asses. Let me see who you are, then get your ass out of here. We don't do that over here. We don't have um, people supporting pervs over here. Okay? We don't have people supporting goddamn perverts over here. Where the Taharka Bay supporters? This bitch ass domestic violence abusive ass pervert who's a sex offender who's registered. I ain't talking about your cousin, mama, uncle, sister, brother in law. I'm talking about you, bitch ass. You see? I'm thorough. Talking about, well, Tariq has a white lawyer. You know how I do. Okay, nigga. That's all. That's the best you can do. Just tap out, nigga. Because I would rather have a white lawyer, and I have white and black lawyers, than to have a sex offender charge on my record. You dig? So any of y'all who even rock with this bitch ass nigga, you can get the hell on away from here. You understand what I'm saying? And yeah, this nigga has so many charges. These are the kind of niggas that they get as agents. If you got all of these damn charges and these weird ass charges and you still running around here and your whole claim to fame at this point is instigating little goofball manufactured beefs, a nigga, that even implies more dirty paperwork for you. You dig? That implies more dirty paperwork from this buster ass nigga. And again, most of y'all don't know who this fish face nigga is, this baby dinosaur looking nigga. Most of y'all don't know and don't care. I understand. I understand, family. But, you know, I just wanted to bring some closure to it because I didn't pack them up and wrapped them up. So it is what it is. But family, one thing about this Negro, this insecure, funny looking bastard, why is he always wearing them hats? Notice you never see this Negro without a hat. Every time you see him, he has a hat on. Okay? Now why, yeah, he has the hat fish people. Every picture of this Negro, he has a hat on. You notice that? Every picture of this goofy, fish-faced Negro, he has a hat on every picture. He keeps that hat on religiously. Every picture, hat, affairs, he got that damn hat on. Every picture. So this nigga has that hat on. And I found a picture of him without a hat. Now we see why this nigga keeps that hat on. This is him. This is this nigga without that damn hat, ladies and gentlemen. This is Taharka bitch, a.k.a. Toronto Antonio Johnson. This is this hoe ass nigga without a hat. No wonder he keeps a hat on. Where's that hairline from? This nigga is a damn suspected tether. Look at that fucked up hairline on this bitch nigga. Look at this nigga's hairline. Family, look at it. Come on, let me draw it up closer. This nigga looks like Carl fucking Winslow off Family Matters. <laughs> this is not an FBA hairline. Where is this ugly motherfucker from? Where are you from, Toronto? Nigga, where in the hell are you from? Come on, this is this nigga right here. <laughs> Come on, Carl Wentz. This is a tether hairline, nigga. No wonder you have such a problem with foundational black Americans, my nigga. I think you are a suspected tether. Nigga, look at that hairline. Where are you from, Toronto? Come on, my G. Tell the truth and shame the devil, man. Where are you from, my dude? Hold on, dude. <laughs> Come on, dude. Hey. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. That's right. All right. 
All right. There it is. <laughs> all right, that's enough. All right, all right. Okay, nigga. But Toronto, you bitch ass nigga. You ain't shit. You ain't gonna never be shit. You a born loser. You're a lifelong failure. You're extremely jealous of Tariq Nasheed. And all you can do now is sit up and make bitch ass videos whining about me and trying to galvanize a couple of scrawny YouTube dollars because you can't generate that money on your own and you need Big Daddy to help you make money because you have been turned into my de facto bitch. And that's what it is. You dig? You are a bitch nigga. And you know how I do. And I was just in your neck of the woods, nigga. I was just in your neck of the woods stomping. Get nothing but respect in the DMV. It's just in your neck of the woods, bitch nigga. Walking them DMV streets, get nothing but love. Your hammerhead ass can't walk these streets out here, bitch nigga. You cannot. Nigga, with that big ass head, people wouldn't know what to do. They like they would think it was an alien invasion. But nigga, that hairline is a beast. But anyway, that's your boy. You know how I do. Sex offender Taharka Bay. Registered sex offender Taharka Bay. Who fucking with him? Who's rocking with him? You rock with him, you ain't rocking with me. I don't rock with niggas who rock with um, sexual offenders, registered sex offenders and domestic abusers and child abusers. Nah. Nah. Yeah, that's why the nigga got to put the feds on for protection. You go to jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to start praying. You, you dig? Dirty ass nigga. Yeah, you couldn't you couldn't walk these streets out here. Yeah, we don't take kindly to little um, sex offenders like you, bitch ass. We don't take kindly to that. Fuck nigga. Up here beating on women and kids. What kind of bullshit is that? Nigga, we we you ain't on the level that I'm on, my nigga. Anywho. I said what I said, and that's how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway. 